so let's talk about this weekend. I don't think I've actually made it abundantly clear what I was doing this weekend. I just kind of talked about it a little bit. But I was traveling to Omaha to celebrate with my cousin and her new family because she just adopted four kids. So, life update. Bit rude. To sum up, brakes are good, bumper might be good. I'm going to Omaha all weekend. The entire process of this trip will not be documented. The trip itself was fine. I definitely would rather not drive in that type of weather. We are having a time because missed the exit I needed because of a stupid semi. Thankfully, it's not one of those exits where you can't just like go to the next one and turn around. I have almost lost all of the ice that has collected on my vehicle, so that's a plus. It's been a rough time, but it could have been a lot worse. At least I could see where I was going and it wasn't freezing on the roads. So that was a plus. I stayed at my cousin's apartment all weekend and so I spent a good deal of the time with her and then we picked up one of my other cousins from the airport late on Friday night and she stayed with us as well. I definitely learned in Omaha that I'm not a big fan of actual city driving. Des Moines doesn't really count because it's still isn't as overwhelming as a place like Omaha. So props to everyone who does it every day because I just, I'm from a small town slash middle of nowhere type of area, okay? I, <laughs> it's not my thing. In terms of the actual dedication and reception afterwards on Saturday, so it was a worship service. It was an opportunity for the pastor at my cousin's church to dedicate the family to God, and it was just a really beautiful experience to just watch my cousin, who's always been someone I looked up to and counted as one of my closest friends, to just take a huge leap of faith and become a mother, not just of one, but of four. And to see a full room of people who were just as supportive of my cousin as I am. It was just, it was humbling. And that was what made it so special. I got to see my friends Adam and Jenny, who are my cousin's close friends from college, and I worked with them at camp. I love them very much. I had not seen them in a long time. And it was just, it was a gathering of some of my favorite people with some of my other favorite people to celebrate another one of my favorite people. Funny how that works out, you know? My family is so important, and I think anyone who's not able to have that type of relationship with their family that I have is missing out, and I'm so sorry for all of those people who just can't have that. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, and I don't think there are many families like mine anyway, so to all the Johnsons, I love you very much and I'm glad I have you. One of my favorite parts about the experience was being able to hear everyone singing in front of me. While I was processing everything that was happening, I could also watch everyone else process. It made for a better story, and it made for a better memory, I think. 